farming is essential to feed the people. And as essential as it is, it was not being reflected on the treatment for the farmers. Farm workers in the United States were not being paid enough for their job. They were not being offered good or safe working conditions and they were generally being discriminated against. And farmers were tired of their job and how poorly they were being treated. So, two farmers by the name of Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta decided to step up to fight for farmers' rights. Both decided to establish a labor union in 1962 by the name of National Farm Workers Association, and four years later, the union merged with the American Federation of Labor Congress of Industrial Organizations, which resulted in being formed under the current name of the United Farm Workers of America, also known as UFW. Since the beginning of the union, their goal has been to achieve collective bargaining rights for farm workers in the United States. And for that goal to be met, Dolores, Cesar, multiple farmers, and citizens went on multiple strikes and boycotts against farm companies that didn't offer safe working conditions, good pay to farmers, and poorly treated workers. Protests and strikes were the main reasons that have made the UFW be successful today. And the UFW continues organizing in major agricultural sectors, especially in California. To put into perspective how successful the union has been, more than 75% of California's fresh mushroom industry is now under union contract. And the union is still putting more industries under contract to protect the farmers. And all of this is happening thanks to the civil rights activists Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta.